Living alone on the streets. Don't have too much money. Want to be popular? Turn this into this by becoming the Casanova con man. Here's how we do it. So here's our fine specimen, the Casanova con man. The starting stats here that we're going to have are four charisma and three intellect. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is head over to the merchants here, a little marketplace, and we're going to grab some meat. Now that we've got the meat, we can recruit the dog straight up. Next, we'll get the sugar from the crates behind the marketplace. Now we're going to head and get our second companion. So in the inn, we can talk to this guy. His name is Sid Meier, and since we've got four charisma, we can recruit him for free. Next up, we're going to get a free horse. So we've got two charisma. We can say, yep, we'll try and get the horse to like us. Go back, say, look, I understand it's your horse, but I don't have the money and I need it. As we are the Casanova Con Man. That's how to get a free horse. Now we need to be level five to activate the merchant quest line. And that's what we are aiming for. So we need to make some XP very quickly. So what we can do is activate waypoints are really nice. We can start heading towards Erteron. As I think by the time we get there, we might be level five. Be very damn close. And plus we can activate another waypoint very close to Erteron. We don't have to run all the way back. But even getting some wood around this lumberjack event. Easy gold and easy XP. On the way to Erteron, you might notice this dragon here. So we can talk to this dude and level up by wildlife killing each other. Or Charisma. Telling that he's lying. And sword and all the money and then go to the monastery there's the monastery there and we can recruit brother jordan so that's three companions already and you haven't really done anything when you're in the monastery you just want to talk to the guy that's by the gate you can hand in the quest let's keep heading for Erteron. we can pick up this second waypoint there we go level five now we can join the merchants no worries we can head back to Waystain in the inn. Talk to Jay. Get our three copper. Send the companions in to attack. Get our leather. And get our cloth from the bandits. Do it the bandits and grab your thin cloth. Once you've gathered all that, talk to Jay. And then he tells you to go to Ertron. So you pretty much just do the merchant quest now. Quest line and yeah, finish that so you can get the merchant gear. So before you head out, you want to go to music. Grab a few of these. We want to get the Serenade Salt. That's going to be our big damage dealer. And maybe the hymn chord as well. And also powerful chords. Uh, musical finesse. Serenades of Serenity. You can play your serenades on horseback as well, so you don't have to run around all the time. You can just play it on horseback, so pretty handy to have. So you can get all your buffs up before you actually have a bit of a fight, and you can get there quicker. Talk to Lork and start the quest line. So the Merchant Quest doesn't have any uh, combat at all. You can just go through everything, complete it, you'll be level 12 and you get the Diplomat suit. Now that we don't look too shabby and look pretty posh, we can finally recruit our last companion. Now before you set out, you can talk to Jackie, the clothing merchant here in Erteron. And he will sell you the wool pants. It gives your non-summon companions 15% health. And also the wool suit, the chest and pants, with a combined total of 30% more health for your non-summon companions. But I'm not going to do that, but 
if you want to go ahead he's located just here in the market okay so let's get our next companion so here's our next companion butter who's located just in the entrance of the golden forest from the green bales so you talk to him and since we have three intellect and two charisma we can pick this option also if you have three charisma which we do we have four we can uh, get him to come with us so we have four companions with us at the moment pretty good start without doing too much questing really i think it's time to get a bit of levels under our belt and also a bit of good gear don't forget to keep your serenades up while traveling so we can increase some of our skills again to get the hymn chord musical finesse powerful chords and we can also get encouraging speech so we can use that to buff up everyone and on the map we are just near the poison on the border of the poisonous swamp and the dark lands so just here and what we want to do is kill some of these zombies that are here for a lot of xp and also some good items we can just attack these zombies and just make sure your buffs are up like our companions do a fair bit of damage with all of our like buffs on them like they got health regen and a lot of um damage sort of going up you get 440 xp so with our damage and everything with the serenade of assault and plus our serenade of serenity you get 12 health every two seconds and more armor see and here we go this is what we wanted herb crafted golden ring straight up this is like a level 40 ring we also got pretty good pants as well like so we can just equip that ring on us so we've got a lot more health it's all good we'll wait until the dog gets a little bit stronger before he can put that on this might be a little bit harder there's a few zombies here and i know there's a weapon for butter here as well we can sort of just try and get them in and then we can use one of our pretty big big moves as well just use the hymn cord and then we can summon a lot more allies to help us fight so we should be able to take these guys down pretty quick stray dog is taking a lot of damage but is getting healed a lot as well there we go get a few more dogs and stuff we're dealing so much damage these things are level 30 and i'm playing on the hardest difficulty too more red silk some deadly poison if you want then these guys in you know what have some more companions i'm just showing you how much damage you can do i i haven't even really played the game yet i've just done the merchant quest and then sort of come here or grabbed allies and come here pick up this we get nature sting so it's a pretty good sword with that item for brother jordan as well we can get this sword and he can equip it so once you've made it to about here at the poisonous swamp you'll see a, like another sort of ruined house and a few groups of zombies around it this is what we're really after here it has pretty good weapon for butter and plus more xp you just got to dodge some of these these cursed zombies as long as they all work together as a team we should be fine so we've just hit level 15 from that group of zombies we've got herb crafted hood more red silk and also a herb crafted leather hat brother jordan he gets his cloth hood and butter gets his leather hat butter is very stylish with that hat on now for the next group of enemies okay so they've just pulled everything this chest here it's got knocker and it is a very good weapon for butter so instead of 78 damage he now does 156 and again like this is pretty much the start of the game and here is all of my stats at the end of just killing them zombies and everything like that so we've got our encouraging speech to level three our music's almost almost full just two more levels and then we can get the masteries and some of the other stuff we can also head into the swamp and look for slimes because they give us some really good uh herb crafted stuff pretty much just here in the poisonous swamp 
we're just below the Bendigo. And then there's like heaps of slimes here. Now these guys seem a lot tougher than the zombies because they you have to take out 3,000 of their health plus the little slimes that spawn after them. We just got some magic potions from them. We can also loot this chest here. Gives us a steel helmet and leather boots. We can keep following this like little poison river all the way over here. And there's one more group of slimes that we can deal with here. Once you deal with this group of enemies, we can just loot them. We get a swamp hunting spear, more gold and a potion. And just from where we killed the last mob of slimes, we can just sort of head this way over this hill. Past this uh, little pond with a fish in it. I want to sort of go just up here where all these stone... Uh, these rocks are coming out of the ground and there's three more slimes. This should be the last slimes that we encounter. Okay, once they're all dealt with, we get a skinner, a one-handed axe, another herb-crafted golden ring. All right, so just by doing all of that, we have reached level 20 already. What we can do is go to the dog, get that last ring and give it to him so he gets even more stats. And what we want to do now is just head back into town. So if you've purchased the player home, uh, you can just use the homing stone and teleport back there. Otherwise, you can just walk, find a safe path out of the poisonous swamp. So now that we're back at Erteron, this is our skills at the moment. So we've maxed out our Serenade of Assault and Serenity, plus the Legendary Bard and Musical Finesse sell all the stuff that we do not need now i think it's time to upgrade our companion stats so with sid meyer he just wants gold so give him some gold we can get him up to best friend and what i like to give to sid meyer is mass taunt and also stunning strike we want to give him more health more armor and a decrease in the cooldown of his abilities with brother jordan it's pretty much the same thing just give him the gold best friend and you can just do heal all and divine place. So we want to decrease his cooldown, get the effectiveness of his abilities increased, and also bonus damage. Give him all the meat. So he's our best friend now. And what we want, we don't want aggro. We'll grab bite, also armor piercing. And we want bonus damage. Oh, we want armor. He can go without any bonus armor because 10% of nothing is, I think, nothing. We might also go crit. So 23 crit. As well that's pretty damn good so while we have butter at the moment he's not that optimal just because it's going to take ages to get all the baked boar ribs and you need a cooking skill of three well, we'll get the new next two companions after it yeah you can um recruit her as a ally to what she does she's your like assassin so you can just give a gold so she's uh your best friend you really want apply poison and even throw dagger just so she has a bit of a range attack. You want damage, crit, and the cooldown. All right, let's go get another companion. Get him to follow you. So you got Starwalker on your side. He's one of my favorite companions. It's because of like lightning strike and also ghost fire. And he can... Star form's like really good if he's um, getting attacked. But you don't really need that. But I like lightning strike and ghost fire. They are my favorite abilities that he has. And to power him up, we'll just go down here and get some Ghost Essence. It's pretty simple. And that's doing two events called Holding the Rupture. There's one where I am, and then there's one next to the Explorer's Camp. Head over to this waypoint. Activate it to reach level 24. But once you've done that, it's time to get to level 40. Now you can do this by going to... Now you can do this by doing all of the other faction quests. Level up, get experience and get honored with all of the other factions that you can be allied with. And also to get some awesome loot. So once you've done all that, you can head back to this spot that is just here on the map. The Maestro's Tomb there. And to get in, you've got to play a serenade next to these two statues. So what you want to do here is just play a serenade and use the oppression cord. That will break through the gate. So 
after upsetting all the locals. And just like that, we convince them all to like us again. And make quick work of him. Another three pieces of the uh, musicians here. You get the pants, gloves, and boots. Here we are, the envious composer. And we get the bard's gloves, boots, and the musician's robe. So now we look like the part of the musician, but the bard gear is what we're really after. Speak to the maestro. Play this loot as hard as we can. Great musician against grand musician. The con man will prevail. We look suave. Very suave indeed. So what's so important about the bard's gear? Reset item bonus allows you to bring one more companion to the group, which we already sort of had. But the five set bonus increases the chance of powerful attack and deflection. So whenever you do like serenades, even playing the serenade of speed, you have a chance to deflect damage to the enemy. And that goes with all of your companions too. So, you know, you've already got that extra companion slot. Plus all of the bonuses with an epic armor, a melee build, a range build, or even if you want to go the mystical musicians route, it gives you bonus damage to all of your dark magic and all of your magics anyway. You summon skeletons. If you want to go the dark magic route, which would be really good. So it's just companions, just galore. But you do lose out on one companion slot, your non-summon companion. So that's just a little bit of a downgrade, but. Or well, you can do a lot of damage with all of your companions on this build. So my favorite companions to use on this build are Sidmire, the Spinefall Fire Defiler, the Crusher Breastplate, and also the King's Necklace and King's Rings. Fully upgraded, you get Mass Taunt, Stunning Strike, Bonus Health, Bonus Armor, and Abilities Cooldown Decrease. Next up we have Brother Jordan with the King's Sword, the Metropolitan Hood, Metropolitan Necklace and Metropolitan Rings. Fully upgraded. Heal all, which heals all the all of your allies as well, which is really good. And also Divine Place. Let's create a spot of holy energy that heals allies. So if Sid is tanking or even Butter, and then they're standing in the same spot, they can get healed over time. With the bonus damage of 10%. Abilities cooldown decrease and also the bonus ability effect increased by 20% as well. Next up we have Star Walker, the Cataclysmic Grand Staff, the Robe of Elemental Fury, Archmage Necklace, and the Arcane Filled Rings. Now there is a Arcane Robe. I'm pretty sure you get that in the Rift, if I'm not mistaken, so that can increase his damage even further. Uh, he's fully upgraded with a lightning strike and stun and also ghost fire that causes just damage over time the enemy standing inside the radius also has bonus damage up 10 percent abilities cooldown decreased and also the bonus ability effect last up we have butter the king's mace snake bite mask king's necklace and king's rings I couldn't get him fully upgraded because the boars, I just got tired of doing it. But anyway, we just missed out on like one skill point. What I had with Butta is hits, uh, Butta hits ground, which uh, just knocks all enemies around him down. And also Butta creates wave. Creates a wave of power, slows enemies down and damages them. So he big AOE sort of base character. I put bonus health on him and also bonus damage. I'd probably go... Maybe bonus crit, just for that critical chance to be 25%. So, that'd be pretty good. I'd go that with him. Now, the skills in this build, all you really need is just the music. So, it'd be just the Serenade of Speed up to level 3. Serenade of Serenity up to level 3. And Serenade of Assault level 3. With Serenade of Speed, it just increases your jump movement speed. It just makes you move around really quick which is really good and it also affects all of your non-summon companions so Sid Meier, Brother Jordan, Star Walker and Putta all, all of the serenades affect all of them as well the serenade of serenity buffs up your character character and party which restores health over time and also increases armor and magic resistance it gives the companions a 33% chance to deflect damage as well 
that's really good also serenade of assault increases the damage done by your party and also the attack speed gives companions a passive 33 percent chance to increase attack damage and knock enemies down and over here in abilities you want the hymn chord it is great it just you have that level two and even max to the legendary bard you'll be summoning the copies of all of your companions so i think you can get like at least four with two copies of all of your companions non-summon companions that attack their current attack stats and have 100 percent health like they're gonna do a lot of damage it's like having well that's, that's having three of each of your companions for 14 seconds so you'll be doing tons of damage and the legendary bard skill depends on how much cord you have you can summon so much more copies increasing their lifetime so you can i think at one point i'm pretty sure i saw like four sid Meyers or four of each of my party plus them so you know five it was, it was just chaos and yeah it just the damage was insane next up we have the oppression cord which is a must in this build just to get through the first uh door it's very good sort of crowd control too it just creates a wave that increases in time damaging all enemies and applies confusion debuff for eight seconds it'll give the enemy a 33 percent chance not to attack and higher your charisma the higher your damage really so use that also magical chord this creates three waves of magical music this can do so much damage like i was doing i think almost 9000 damage just to enemies and it's, yeah it's oh, like and that's aoe too that's not just single target so they can do a lot of damage and we have bard strike as well just a good ability a bit of cc knocks enemies down and damages them so really good next up in our passives we want musical finesse increases duration of serenade buffs by 20 percent per ability level uh, powerful chords increases damage of chords by 20 percent and lifetime of him copies by two seconds per ability level they are really good to have and also the other mastery skill legendary bard serenades give chords 300 percent faster if you can get the maximum overload skill on this build you can do a lot more damage with you can do a lot more damage with the magical cord that increases with charisma and magic power in the speech skill i've just chose encouraging speech level three just to give all of my companions more health and armor really like you can really choose what you want in this if you're going to go melee or even magic route so i'm just level 46 and i haven't even used all my skill points yet i'm not even max level i've gotten i don't think i've gotten any obelisks either so so that's my take on the Casanova Command Prisma build. So let me know what you think down in the comments. That'll do it for me. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. Hope to see you in the next one. All right, guys. Take care. Being a bard is awesome. Being a con man, that's another thing.